for the first time in three weeks as New Mexico puts up a fight against 24th ranked Boise State. Didn't look like it would be much of a game after one half of play. New Mexico trails 25-0, but the Lobos outscore the Broncos 29-7 in the final two quarters. Eight minutes left in the fourth quarter. True freshman Cole Gauchi gets the call and gets into the end zone for the score. That cuts Boise State's lead to just 11 points. It's 32-21. New Mexico has three turnovers in this one, but the Broncos have two. The Lobos get the ball back thanks to the defense. A.J. Butler forcing the fumble. Joe Stoner picks it up, looking like he's going to take it to the house until he's brought down by the quarterback, Joe Southwick. New Mexico is in business. From one yard out, it's Gauchi with the carry and gets in for the score. The two-point conversion is good. He rushes for 73 yards and a pair of touchdowns. The Lobos pull within three points. Later in the fourth quarter, UNM needs a stop on third and eight. Deshaun Mills jumps the route and Mills can't hang on to the ball. That's a pick six giving New Mexico the lead if he makes the play. So Boise State marches out their kicker to tack on three more points. But check this out. It hits the right upright. The Lobos have life. The freshman quarterback, Gauchi, plays all of the second half, and he's going to get hammered right here on the third down play. So that's going to move it to fourth down for the Lobos with two minutes to go. Bob Davey turns to senior B.R. Holbrook to try and get the first down, and the pass is incomplete. The Lobos fall short in a heartbreaking loss. 32-29 is the final. Our own Van Tate was at the game and has a reaction from the Lobos' heartbreaking loss to Boise State. The Lobos aren't into moral victories. They fully expected to beat Boise State in a game that was a tale of two halves. Losing three or four turnovers didn't help, but the Lobos did fall short with a chance to win at the end. Where we are defensively right now, we can't afford to cough it up on offense, and we have to force turnovers on defense. We could have executed better in the first half, but the second half, I think we came out fighting, and I think we showed people that we're not we're not going to give up. This this isn't the teams from from the past. This is a whole a whole different era, and you're going to have to come in here, especially at home, and you're going to have to play us for four quarters. What you tell you guys at halftime, coach? Down 25 nothing. Narrow the focus. You know, don't think of all the ramifications. Don't think about what the final score might be. Uh, don't think about. Uh, how hard we worked and we might not get anything out of this. Just go play the second half. It was a loss. It was a tough loss, but we also see that we have a great fan base and everybody was out there trying to contribute to help us. So it was it was a good feeling being down there on the field with those guys in the, in the stadium. Coach Bob Davey called the atmosphere at University Stadium electric as fans stayed on and even gave the team a standing ovation at the end. Next week, the Lobos will welcome Texas State and former Lobo coach Dennis Franchoni. Van Tate, KRQE News 13 Sports, Albuquerque. All right, well, here's a peek at the stat sheet. The Lobos were outgained overall by 146 yards. The Lobos rushed 54 times for 324 yards on the ground. They attempted only one pass the entire second half. New Mexico has three turnovers, but control the time of possession by just over three minutes. There were only two punts in this game, both by the Lobos. New Mexico didn't force one punt all game.